Hello everyone, welcome back to another Scrolls match with the um, Decay deck here. Let's see. <laughs> well, let's sack Atrophy, I think. End the turn. Go for a turn two Gravelock, turn three Harvester, turn four Corsemonger, turn five Oblivion Seeker. <laughs> it's perfect, right? Ooh, a husk. I would like a husk. That changes things. Damn it. But I like the infected grave lock more, so I will sack that for energy and play the grave lock. Playing against an energy deck. Hmm. You know, I thought about incorporating or making a uh, grave lock. Haven deck, but decay and energy instead of decay or uh, instead of energy and growth. But then I'm like, ah, the only thing I'm getting from decay is the is this grave lock here. Hello. Um, sack. Yeah, I mean, out of the cards I have, I, that's the one I would want to sack. Play a harvester in the turn. Bum, 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 bum. Now see, that gun will not actually get to attack because my Grave Lock's going to deal two damage to it and then it's going to take another poison damage on its next turn. So he should really move it right now. Unless he's just looking for a blocker. Then I guess that would be effective. Ah, Scatter Gunner. Let's sack that to play a curse monger. And in the turn. So now the automaton is dead. If that opponent somehow manages to kill the Gravelock, I can then summon an Oblivion Seeker there, because I would want him to die, because he gives me two scrolls when he dies, plus he will decrease his cooldown even further. Or countdown. My apologies. But let's see what our opponent does. Really surprised he chose not to move the gun, though. I really am. Because then he could have. Oh, man. Stormrunner. Or. I, I, I hate those things. I really do. Let me sack for cards. Meyer Curse. Sure, a Meyer Curse. Um. Him. I'll cast Shroud of Unlife on him so I can get a Husk. And end the turn. Scatter Gunner has one life. He's gonna have to move the Lobber. Interesting. There has to be something else. Maybe not. Well now, if I kill the Lobber, which I want to, then the Meyer Curse goes away and he lives. Hmm. Hmm. Shoot.
I mean, it's not like I really want him to attack again. But... Actually, why would I do that? Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. I really don't. Why did I... Why did I move that guy? What the hell compelled me to do that? I really don't know why. I just... I just did it. The only reason why... Like, the only good that does is, um... It kills the scatter gunner, I guess. Because if I killed the lobber, then the scatter gunner would have lived for another turn. And like I was thinking about it, oh, he killed my harvester. I was thinking about it in my head, but then I just kind of did it by reaction. I, but I was, oh, well, whatever. That was weird. It's like my hand was compelled to move the curse monger. All right, so. I will atrophy this guy, I think, or should I just cast Straining Mist? Yeah, why not? Let's cast Straining Mist. Sack that for more cards. Oh man, I drew both Soul Scroungers, which I needed for my Harvester. What a, what a sh... Oh well. So my other choice or thing I could have done was atrophy him and he'd kill himself but then I i mean I couldn't handle him so I think draining mist was the better play well, I guess I put soul scrounger on well I really probably should sack one of these for energy and cast the oblivion seeker He's getting ready to attack, so I'm assuming my opponent has a Bombard. Aww, son of a bee. Dang. Never mind. Sack that, play a Oblivion Seeker. Killing him. I guess I could have cast Regenerator on my Miasma well, but I wasn't expecting a, uh, a burn. I should have, but I didn't think about it. Ouch. Well, that is a target Ah damning curse I will move them both up to the middle I will sack Soul Scrounger and cast Regenerator on this guy to try to keep him alive. And in the turn. Mostly to keep him out of burn range. I'm okay with that. Festus, huh? Shroud of Unlife. Okay, let's cast a uh, Loyal Darkling. We will sack Arthritis for even more cards to give us more options in the future. Play an Illmire Rot Eater. 
No. Yeah. No. Um, we'll cast a Grave Lock. Cast Shroud of Unlife on the Loyal Darkling. And then the turn. I'm looking at Ilmai Rot Eater and Grizzly Craft here. I can place the Ilmai right there. Move him down, cast Grizzly Craft on it. Which then he becomes a husk. Hmm. Let's sack Festus for more cards. Of course, I sack Festus and get a mangy rat. That's just how it goes. Um, for now, let's just play him. And um, let's play a mangy rat. Let's see. Here. And end the turn. So casting Grizzly Craft would make him, what, a 9 9? Because of his natural ability? Yeah. Hello. And he is running. Probably a good thing. Sack for more cards. Ah, uh, Necrogeddon. Hmm. Well, how about we move down there to say hello to our buddy. We'll move him along to... Um, cast a Sage. There. Save Grizzly Craft for next turn. Because if I Grizzly Craft now, then he's going to be in the front and he may be able to kill my Ilmire with this giant. And I don't want that to happen. No, I do not. Oh no. Do you have a Fury or a Iron Whip? Interesting. Sack this for energy. I will draining mists. Move him down, move him down. Cast Grizzly Craft. He becomes a husk. Move him down under the protection. And, um, end the turn. Well, actually, that could have been a bad move if my opponent has Bombard. I did not think about that. I should have. But if he does die, then he gets buffed up. Oh, shit. That's... That's bad. Hmm. Let's see, so both of them are attacking this turn. Can I I need to deal an, another damage to it? To adjacent creatures. Alright, we'll cast this. We'll cast Infectious Blight on um, him. So he'll be dealt two poison damage next turn. 
and he can't escape the destroyer's range. Then we'll cast Draining Mist, maybe. Um, move him up. Oh, shit. No. Ah, oh, man. I meant to curse him. Damn it. Damn it. Ouch. Huh. Let's see, we'll cast Searing Shackles on this. And, um, no need to Draining Mist right now, so end the turn, I guess. I hope he can swing this turn to make it worthwhile killing his own unit. Really? Does he not realize that he's going to die? Anyway, alright, we'll um, move him up to kill the Scatter Gunner and I can draw a scroll. That guy has been potioned. Um... Is he still... No, he is not potioned. But I'm not going to kill him because I need him to kill him. Well, wait. He has Infectious Blight anyway. So he's dead anyway. Okay, let's... Uh, let's destroy the Destroyer. Let's summon a Life Stealer up here. And a Husk. Wait. Sure. Draining mist we won't need right now. Alright. That was a very odd move to, um... Really? You're gonna kill that husk, huh? Um, to move his giant like that because of the Searing Shackles, so he didn't even get to attack. Another potion? Didn't he just slap a potion on him? What the heck is this opponent doing? Whatever. Um... Let's see... So that deals for... Hmm. Can I... No, I can't win this turn, but uh, let's... Sack Atrophy. Wait a minute, Hex Mark. Hex marks the spot. Ha 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 ha. Oh, so dumb. Regenerature. Can I win? Um, let's see, six. He can deal seven, eight, nine. If he wasn't in front, maybe. Or am I just crazy here? Three, he can kill that. No. Okay, let's summon a uh, Gravelock. Summon a Rot Eater. And 
and cast hex marks on him so that he will kill that. How's that potion uh, helping you with the infectious blight there, Lobber? And next turn I can Necrogeddon for fun. Concentrate fire. Okay, yeah, he must have just gave this game away, I guess. Um. So let's move you up. Move you. Move you. Cast a loyal darkling. Get ready for um. Necrogen next turn. Actually, why did I do that? Ah, well, whatever. It's not like he's going to um, beat me. Actually, he's dead next turn. So let's go down here and kill that. We'll play another Curse Mugger. Just have more people to um, Necrogeddon for the final finale, I should say. Apologies, I was... I'm. My mind was not totally focused for the later half of this game. I've been having some real-world stuff going on with uh, text messages that I had to respond to, so... It was unfortunate that this person decided to text me at this uh, particular game. Because I was already in the middle of the ranked match when it started happening. Nothing serious, though. just required my responses. So, if the commentary was slightly off, I, I apologize. Alright, so he violent dispersaled um, my dude. That's cool, I guess. Uh, let's... Yeah. Necrogeddon! It is a cool card, Necrogeddon. A giant surprise of um, damage. <laughs> but it was not needed. My opponent, I guess, kind of lost his game a while ago. Because then he started making... Like, I don't know. I don't know if he gave up. Because um, he started making questionable moves a few rounds ago. But, uh, oh well, whatever. Um, good game to my opponent big time. I hope you enjoyed the finale of Necrogeddon for the win. And uh, I will see you all next time. Take care, everybody.